So, finishing up the cat today, as you can see, we're almost done. We just need to put in a lot of individual hairs. So today, once a couple more people get available on the stream, I'm going to show you guys how to do long hair. So long hair is going to look like that. Have a complete Walmart tutorial ready to go. Until they get here, let's start putting in some details. We have the eyes. We need some white in that. So we have a pastel pencil, pit pastel white, and we have a colored pencil. So I do have some more colored pencils on the way, which is exciting. I have these color soft, which are supposed to be very, very soft colored pencils. And if that's the case, that is going to be a literal godsend for me because I could really use a super soft colored pencil. Because I do like colored pencils, just not for long periods of time. All right, so we have a saturated brown and a desaturated brown. I'm gonna use a mix here. Mostly, we're gonna use the desaturated until we get right here, which is more saturated. So get in here with this. Now we got like a fairly dark area coming down into here from the eye. I'm going to go a little faster than I usually do because I've been kind of goofing off here. So realistically, uh, you can do this in about two hours, the whole thing. So if you're not like me and goofing off and such. And so we have like this area here and then we're coming down through here. We have like a dots. A lot of dots, little dots everywhere. Dots, dots here and there, dots, dots everywhere. All right, and then as we come towards the nose, we have like this area coming out here. And the area coming out there is darker. So again, my theory that most of these paintings will actually be behind glass and on a poorly lit wall, which makes it fairly easy because now you don't have to put in as much detail. And I'll make a video for that. I have a painting on my wall that is in a poorly lit room. And I discovered this because I had a painting that I worked like 23, 24 hours on and gave it to a friend. I give, I think, most of my paintings away. Gave it to a friend because it was her long lost deceased dog. And then I went over there and it was in a hallway that was really poorly lit and you could not hardly see any detail at all. And I was like, man. I didn't do a lot of detail on that or something. I mean, you get close and you can see it's highly detailed, but nobody ever really gets that close. So I'm like, why did I, I mean, I can understand you want a certain level of detail, but why did I spend that much time with every little single little hair? And then I'm doing every little hair here, but this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what I did with that one. And, um, and you're like, why did I do every little individual hair on this? Because here I'm just kind of making dots back and forth. Because you have like dots going here. You have like little hairs going up. Like this. And then as you get up there, it gets more pronounced and darker. So we're going to get our dark here. And just make again little hairs. Then as you come here, you have like an area there. So you just want to get a hint of that there's hairs here. That looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, we're here again. Not as strong. Like that. And we got little hairs coming up through there. And then as it comes up, it gets darker. And then we're coming through here. And we have like these darker areas there. Looking at the reference photo, it's good to look at the reference photo a lot. I know Wendy Lane says you have to look at it every few seconds or you just 
going from memory at that point, and memory is faulty and it's probably not going to go so well. So, I completely agree with that. If you haven't checked out Wendy Lane's channel, she has a wonderful YouTube channel. She does realistic faces and stuff in colored pencil, and it's just amazing. Like the stuff she puts out, you're like, there's no way, and I mean, no way would ever be able to do that. I realize you have to practice and all this other stuff, but. I'm going to stick with my pets. They're a lot easier than what she does. All that portrait stuff, some of that stuff is intimidating. You're like, I have no idea how you did that, even though you just showed me. Right, we just get here, and we have a darker area here. You want to make sure you go in the direction of the fur, even if you're just making a splotch, like I'm doing here. Then you make a couple of hairs coming out. You don't want to splotch with, you know, straight line. Um, so you want that kind of thing. And then here we have like a darker area like right there and it comes up in through here. Like that. That looks good. And then once you come out of that you have like a desaturated brown which is perfect. That's what we have here. Looks like we already hit it with a saturated brown, but this desaturated brown, it's not going to be too bad. We have desaturated brown hairs coming out. All right, cool. That looks good. And then as you come out here, we need like some brown because we have a lot of different hairs coming out of the eye and whatnot, and they're all bright. cat looks sort of like an owl. So we have longer hairs here and then we have splotches and stuff there. I hear maintenance outside. Okay, cool, that looks good. All right, let's skip down to the bottom here. And I'll just go ahead and start the hair tutorial. So this is how to make long hairs. And I know a lot of people get confused with this. So I wanna make it pretty crystal clear for you guys. Um, when you have long hair, the thing you don't want to do, and the thing that's just gonna kill you, is to do this. Because number one, that's straight. Number two, there's a pattern, right? But you also don't want to do this to where it's curly. And then you have some curls and you have other curls like that. You just don't want to do that. Here's the pattern you want to use. You want a long hair. So you want a long hair like a dece. Long hair. Now you want a short hair going the other way. You want them intersecting like this. Short hair. Like that. Not a short hair like that, but a short, shorter hair like this. Now you want what I call a curly cue. You just want to see. And what that is, is that a hair, that's a hair clump. Like a C, like that, or like this. So that's just a hair clump. So you, you don't want that many hair clumps. So you want one long, one short, and then a hair clump, okay? So if you're watching the stream, let me swap over to an, an example here so you can see the hairs you can see the pattern see look you'll see like a look dead center there you'll see a long hair and then you'll see a shorter hair going the other way so you'll see a series of long hairs one or two short hairs and then you have hair clumps you can see in the middle it's just a clump and when you look at it, it looks like a wavy pattern so that's what I have switch back to the camera so that's what I have here, long hair, a shorter hair, and a clump. And what you're going to do is you're going to change the colors. That's going to make the big difference. Because you're looking at this, and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. That looks terrible, you know, when you put it together like that. But when you put color in it, that's when it really comes to life. And you can see down here, that looks like real hair. And a lot of my cats, dogs, etc., people ask, how do you do hairs? Well, this is pretty much how you do the hairs. So, um... 
Very good stuff here. So let's do with, with three colors, right? You don't want eight colors, you want two, three colors. So we're gonna get white, and then we're gonna get like this, um, uh, we'll do this brown here, a lighter brown, okay? So we have a white, a lighter brown, and then we have like this reddish brown. And this is, um, this is Karandash. I think it's one of the sets for portraits. So it's good portraits. So we got these three colors. Let's go. Longer hair. Let's do long, a few longer hairs here. Like that. All right. So that looks like crap by itself. Now you want to do a shorter hair coming the other way. So you see you have a long hair, you have a shorter hairs coming the other way. Like that. And then you're gonna press down harder and you're gonna make like a clump here. So you don't want all individual hairs, you want like a clump here and there. I just made like a pattern there, it looks terrible, but whatever. And then you're gonna come back with your brown. You're just gonna make same kind of thing, longer hair, shorter hairs. And then you're gonna have a clump, a C. So the C is gonna be little clumps here and there of hair. So you put it all together and get the reddish thing here. Again, longer hair, shorter, and then you have a clumps. Like that. So that looks pretty good. That looks like real hair. So that's the type of thing you wanna do. We're kind of hosed here by this little section here. So we're gonna put little shorter hairs over here and just make that pattern there. But you can see the longer hair, shorter hair clump, and then you can come in with a pencil and make like bright hairs here and there. So it's not all the same. Like that, so that looks pretty good. Needs a little more cowbell. So that's basically your pattern. Um, so you just want to vary the color. You want to vary everything in it. And you want to have some areas with thicker sections. You want to have some areas with thinner sections, etc. So that makes you get realistic hair. And that looks good. It looks especially good framed. Um, I have a several framed pets around here that I'll show you guys in another video. So we can do that again. Longer hair, so you get shorter hair, longer hair. You have like a clump here and there. Longer hair, a shorter hair. A couple more longer hairs here. One straight. Longer hair, a shorter one. A little clump, clump here, clump there. Come back in here with another color. Do some longer hairs. Shorter. Make a little clump. A little copy. Copper. Or is there a copper right there? Uh, cool. Come back in with the brown. Okay, so there's your long hair. It looks alright. Hey, Allison, how are you? So then you want your big clumpy sections. And if you're making a dog, I'll tell you another secret that really, really, really will help you out. Um, instead of individual hairs, if you're making a dog, this doesn't work on cats as much, you can still do it. You want like where the hair comes out and then like that. So looks like a swimmer, it's going up. But no, you have like a, a clump of hair here, then you have the hairs coming out. And you'll have that pattern where you have a thicker section and then a thinner section like that. So you can do that like here. So you have a thicker section where the hair's kind of clumping together, and then you have it like over there. Thicker section where the hair's kind of clumping together, and it comes through, comes out through that. So that gives you a little thicker 
like that. And that gives it some more realism as well, especially if you get like the white. Thicker section comes out, thicker here comes out, a little thicker there comes out, etc. Yeah, what you don't want to do is just go it's not gonna work so it looks good I like it thicker section long short clump etc you can also use your clump as your thicker section or whatever so we're just gonna kind of smooge the rest of the cat here long short little thing there so you can have your long flowing hairs coming out through here short hairs that don't quite make it long hairs that make the grade look at that and then short hairs that didn't quite make it over here there we go over here is darker I don't know what I'm doing I'm like wandering over there without paying attention uh, just paying hairs man okay so over here it's darker we'll do that in a minute what was I doing Oh, I was up here. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, okay. So, I'm going to get my grease pencil. Good news, I'm getting all my new pencils, including the Color Soft on Wednesday. Bad news, I'm starting oil painting on Wednesday. It's good to have art supplies you won't use anytime soon. No, but I do have 11 dogs, a horse, I got two more cats, then I got an oil painting. We're gonna be busy. Like if you wanna learn the stupid pastels, hang out here, man. I will teach you everything for free. I no charge, there's no charge. Cause I'm gonna do the art anyway. I might as well stream it. Not like I'm gonna get out of doing the stuff. If you learn something, you learn something. If you don't, Go do something else other than watch me. There we go. To my four fans. All right. So you can see I'm kind of doing the same thing up here. <laughs> I like taught you guys that and I'm like unconsciously doing it. You can see I'm doing it in a, in a much shorter method, but I'm, I'm doing the same thing here. I got like long, short, got like a dot, long and short like a dot. This works everywhere, man. Like if you learn that one technique, you can make a hyper-realistic dog, cat, Furby, Pokemon. I mean, you can make anything you want, man. You just gotta learn the long, short. What you don't wanna do is go, or, or. It's gonna look terrible. Everybody's gonna make fun of you. You're gonna put it on the internet. Somebody's gonna go, did you go, or, or, or? You didn't watch the long, short video, did you? All right, here, here. Looks good, that looks nice. I like this grease pencil, man. Derwent drawing. Come in here, I'm so OCD, it's hilarious. All right, whatever. Uh, here, a little more there. A little more there. All right, cool. That's the end of that. We'll do this later. I'll do the ear later. I modified the ear from last time because it did not look all that good. One thing I hate is when you finish and it looks like crap. This needs more beef. It's more cowbell right here. This is begging for cowbell, like no doubt. Put some, put some hair tips on here. It's a cat. It's not a trash can. Get some hair, some fur. Need some action. Action Jackson. There, and there, and there. That's light. That's too light for that. Alright. Come down through here, and the ear comes down, actually, pretty far. And what I did last time, I messed this up. I didn't come in far enough. This actually comes in about there. Yeah, that's better. Looks like the ear's on his head. It looks like it was disconnected from his head. Get a couple of hairs there. All right, cool. And then we have a darker area behind there. And I want to, oh, I don't know what I want to do. What I want to do? 
I want to not do what I did before. We have this darker area like right here. It's just unusual. It's not a lot. It's just enough to get my attention. And then we do have this colored pencil style. Now I'm doing the colored pencil here because again, the wax is highly, highly reflective. And some areas of the cat, if you look at the, the photo, just it, some, some of the hairs jump out, especially, especially the white hairs and some of the stuff just jump out at you. And then you have like some up here, in addition to the dark, you have some hairs there. But you gotta be careful with colored pencil. You will wax bloom this thing and be pretty miserable at that point. At that point, you're breaking out the electric eraser, like straight up. If you wax bloom that, man, you're breaking out the electric eraser. And on, on this carpet matted velour, you're gonna be fairly miserable after you wax bloom it and try to erase. Balloura does not erase happily. It, it does not go willingly into that dark night. It is very upset with you. It will yell and scream, clog the toilet. It's not friendly at all. All right, go through here. So if you look at this side of the head too, I'm doing the same thing. Long, short, clump, short, long. Kind of have to watch it when you get into shorter hairs like this, but whatever. All right, so this is, I mean, there's some noticeable, noticeable hairs here. You see how that wax? Look at that wax, man, that pops. That's right in your face. That's like, hello, I'm here. Can you please pay attention to me? Thank you. I would greatly appreciate that. The wax on here does not mess around. It's done playing. Right. And you have these areas that, that, are, that are like that. And then over here, not so much. I mean, right here, yes. Right here, that's pretty serious. And you got a couple of spots like right through here where it does want your attention. But like right here, no. And you have to kind of watch that, you know? You can't really just global search and replace in Word and hope for the best. You have to pay attention. So we have like a dark area right here, man. I'm gonna hit it with this Derwent drawing. Come in here and just tickle this Derwent drawing right here, man. Right there. Right there, that's perfect. Ooh, I like this camera. It's right, right in front of my face. So I got the new camera coming in soon. And I will be able to stream in super high def finally. All right now you have like this area coming up here. All right that looks good but um, that's a little much. That's a little too much right there. Same thing here it looks like he has my shadow on. All right so that Looks pretty good. All right, so we did the darkness on the nose, and I do want to. Um, oh, I do like how it looks. You need some brown in between the black, and again, these are pretty short hairs. Coming in through there. And I do want 
do want that to extend down a little more. Well, halfway done. All right. Um, I have that, I have that, I have that. And... All right, and then we have hairs extending out through here. Can't really see because of the gray, but whatever. Um, get a couple of wild hairs coming out. They're just like, I don't care anymore, man. It's gonna be wild. And... All right, good enough. And I know we have some hairs over here. I want these to be a little prominent. Okay, and then on the side, we have a lot of individual hairs like sneaking out through there. And see, you see, these are not as prominent because I'm not using colored pencil, I'm just using pastel pencil. But you can see they're there. They just don't grab your eye as much as these bright hairs that are down here, which is important because what you want to do is have a nice mix. If everything is bright, grabs your eye, then it's just gonna be dull after a while to the user. But if it's a nice mixture of stuff to where some of it's light, some of it's dark, and you just have this nice mellow feel to it, then you're really gonna be happy at that point. Um, so I want my 175, and again, 175 is a super, super dark. It's almost black. And I love my 175, man. There's one pencil that you have to get, it's 175. When you're just not in the mood for complete darkness, but you do want a little darkness here. Because this side of the face is like shaded. So you can see that's not entirely black. I mean, it's getting there, but it hasn't quite hit yet. And that's why I like it, because you can just hit and just sneak in. We're not gonna like make this entirely dark right here, but you do need, this is a shaded part. You do need some hints of fun here. Always go the direction of the hair, guys. Get some shade over here, man. You see shadow, you see the eye? It's got shadow. So here we're gonna do long, short, clump, clump, right there, clump. And again, long, we got the long hairs coming in through here. Short, the other way. Nice mix. It's just nice, see? It's nice. It's nice and relaxing. And the hair, got that variety. Got your clump, put your C right there. Look, the C, it's a clump. All right, so now we do have, we're getting the 175 out again. I did order three more 175s. I originally, I had eight. But I have burned through six of them. Nothing like wasting your life savings on art supplies. Right. And somebody's going to ask me. It's Pit Pastel. Pit Pastel 175. So you can do that. I'm going to pretend like it's a clump. I'm retarded, never mind. All right, coming back in through here, we have some, these are short hairs, don't want them long. Make long hairs here, you're gonna be sorry.
All right, nice variety. It looks really nice. And I know uh, we got brown in here. Just gonna do colored pencil. Um, just gonna sneak in some brown there. It is pretty dark though, man. It is dark. I got this dark brown here. Let's see how this looks. Is that even brown? That's really dark. I like it. Drawing pets is all about variety. You don't want to use two pencils and draw your whole pet. Well, unless you're doing carbon or something. Like I'm just doing regular pencils. So you go, just go different directions. One's going down, one's going up, one's going straight. Going down, going down, going up, going up, going down, going down. You want the general feel to stay in the direction of the hair, but you do want some variety. You don't want to put them all there. So you got one down there, like that. That goes good. And then at the end, it comes into this white area here. And we have white area kind of sneaking out through here. White is not giving up, man. Right here, it's like I'm coming in. I don't care what you think. Brutal. Just like I'm not giving up quite yet, man. White here. Right, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. In between the white, we got some browns. Especially right here. Brown is having some attitude right here, man. Brown is having a lot of attitude right about there. right there and then comes back down through here and the pastel is coming in with its own attitude that comes up a little farther than that Cool, that looks really nice. I like it. You got the foreshortening of the nose. It's coming up here, that looks good. And now we have like this up here. The shorter hairs are kind of blending into that. And I'm doing this with, you guessed it, 175 man. 175 does not play around. All right, cool, and over through here, we have a dark area sneaking up into this. It's not quite taking it over, but it's thinking about it. It's coming in like World of Warcraft when you go on a raid. Like there's a bunch of monsters sitting in their dungeon, chilling out, and here comes this group of like 10, 25 people just messing everybody up and killing, man. Like, what would you do? You'd be like, come on, man. Oh, we were just chilling and having fun. You guys got to come in here and raid. Uh, so we got some hairs like that. We're using our stabbing method where we just kind of whack it. You don't want too many. You just want a few. You want to make it curled when you stab. Stab like you mean it. Watch me break my pencil. That would be hilarious. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Joan, how are you? Thank you so much. Oh, uh, Joan, I showed how to make hairs, individual hairs, um, like long hairs through here and through here in the beginning. You want to go watch it if you're interested in that. Um, all right. All right. That has a couple of short hairs, not much. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can really overdo this. But just having a couple there. See, look, that grabs your eye, man. Right there, that grabs your eye. You can really, really, really overdo this. Gotta be careful. But I like it. And then we want some deeper darks in the middle. Like I want some pretty prominent darks in here. Joan, you need the darks. You gotta have those. If you just have all mid-tones, it just looks terrible. Um, that looks good. A couple of hairs coming out through here. Got a grease pencil coming through there. Um, I like it. That looks very nice. Okay, so we got that section, we got that section, we got this section. I do want like some hairs kind of popping up through there. And maybe a couple here, a couple here and there. You don't want that all brown. There we go, nice. Okay, got that, got that, got that. Uh, a little more white in here, Joan. I really want this to, to pop, I like it. Same with here, I mean, this could use a little more white, like not obnoxiously so, like right there. But you don't want to use the, the pencil, the colored pencil, because it's really going to be too much. Okay, I like that. Um, so I'm going to call it a day on this section over here after I mess with it for another nine hours. Okay, so I know I want some colored pencil, some color. It's, it's desaturated, the whole thing is desaturated, but I want a little saturation. A little bit. A grease pencil. I'm using Derwent Drawing. It feels like a grease pencil. Remember when you like working somewhere, like in a factory or something? Well, I'm probably the only one who works in a factory. Everybody's like, what? Um, you remember when, when um, well, I don't know anything else to do with it. You, you got, I was in receiving and you had to get like boxes and you had to mark what was in the boxes with a grease pencil so um, this feels exactly like that I mean I did enough of my minimum wage days to to uh, definitely know what those things are all right and then we have this red it's not like a bright red it's just a little look at that look at that look how that just brings it's like pink this is this is Karen Dosh 788 or 788 745 from the portrait set and I like it because you can get like this weird pinkish hue with it. And you can see it like just grabs your eyes. It grabs your eyes. I like it. it grabs your eyes. Hey, Kathy. I didn't even know you snuck in there. All right. And um, I do want some of this, a hint of this pink again um, down through here. I mean, you can really, really overdo this, but let's not. I probably will, and then I'll say that I didn't. Okay, uh, you have got like a darks here. You don't want much, just want a little. See, just, just that, look at that. That just light, that just lit up. That literally lit up that area over here, just a little bit of dark. And then I want a couple of hard wax on this thing. Ugh, yeah. 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 All right. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Sound effects and all. Get a couple of little wax here. Because you do have a couple of these that are getting my attention. They don't want to be ignored at all. They want a little bit of attention. Okay, cool. And a couple here just for the heck of it. All right. Now we are coming into, I don't know, what do you want to do next? You ordered two sets of drawing pencils and can't wait to use them with pastels. You will be so happy. Why did you order two sets? Alright. So, I want, uh, that already has too much of that. I'm not sure what to do now. I know I want... So let's grab another color because we can't have too many pencils apparently in our hand. And this is just like a lighter. This is so soft right here. It is really, really soft. Unfortunately, 
on the radio they had the Spice Girls and now I have that stupid song stuck in my head. Look how soft that is. This is really soft and it just comes into here and it blends in. I like it. And then we have this massive amount of desaturated brown. Desaturated brown, where art thou? Is that it? No, that's not it. Uh, no, that, that's way too saturated. Is that it? I have no idea. That's it. We have a mix. All right, I'll reveal for you guys that just got in. So, to make to make hair longer hair, you want one long, one short going the other way, and then a little clump. I call it a Q, like a C, like a C. One long, short. So you have long, short, and a little clump. Then you want to do a mix like this. like that. Anyway, and then when you're finished with it, it looks like that. And obviously you want to use different colors with it. Uh, you don't want to use the same color, otherwise it looks like crap. So little highlights here and there. You see that pattern that I'm making with that little thing? See that looks real good guys, look at that. Cool. I don't know, what, what is this area right here? It's, I do like that. Let's come out a little more. Because this whole area through here is fairly dark. They were half price on Blix on Amazon, so I got two. There you go. You can't have too many art supplies. Look at my pastel collection. I'm kind of afraid to post my whole pastel collection. I think it would like freak people out. Everybody make fun of me for the rest of my natural life. Dude! Uh, there we go. So we got white. Bring it white up here. Right there. Clump right here. One more. One more clump. All right. Cool. See how that, look at that clump. See how that brings it to life? It just brings it to life. Looks nice. And then this comes out like that. Don't make that stop so short. Looks like a burly man's beard. Like a burly man's mustache. Sorry. Get one of those guys with got, got the stash. So you can see my pattern through here. Got the burly mustache coming around through here. Sort of turns into a beard right here. Cool. We got the white areas here. We already did this, and this we did yesterday, or the day before that, or whatever. We took yesterday off. All right, and then over here, well, then you go into like this saturated section right here. I'm just gonna do this with a colored pencil. I want this a little more saturated, and again, colored pencil is gonna leave wax, which is gonna look a little cooler. So you see that? It's like more saturated, and it just looks a little cooler. And then we're gonna bring it in a little bit. You don't want it to have a straight line. So you're gonna sneak this in a little bit. Don't tell anybody, right there. Ooh, and then you can use a grease pencil. Joan, I've used Sharpies before. Right 
here. I will use a Sharpie for the people. Don't mess. I don't mess around with those Sharpies. I bought like a whole set of different colored Sharpies just to see what they look like on pastel. and It's very limited use. I would not recommend it for general use. You want it only in emergencies. But if you want a really dark black though, man, that Sharpie, that Sharpie does good. It does the body good. Um, cool. So that looks really, really nice, actually. Okay. So now I want to, this is just splotches. I'm going to convert this into hairs. And this is fairly dark over here. So we're just going to do this pencil here. You see I'm kind of making my little pattern there. And then through here you got that. And then there's like a dark area. So we're going to get our grease pencil and just go in through there. darker area there. Looks nice. Here, a couple little hairs there. All right, and then we have a light brown. Um, I already sort of hit it with this a little bit, but I think that's going to be a little too pink. Be a little too pink. It's a little too much, man. I think I'm going to switch to the colored pencil because I want the saturation that shines right there there through here and this is really really desaturated right here so I'm gonna put a little bit of the saturation I don't want a, a completely desaturated uh, thing again because this is gonna be behind glass and a little bit more saturation and I don't mean like a hundred percent I mean like 10 20 percent more saturation around the face and this is all face is gonna do you good so we'll go back to the desaturated brown Kind of finish up with this here. And then I know uh, once you get to the outside, that is gonna be white. So we're gonna get this, we're gonna come up here, and we got this area up here. I like it. And then we have like a, Desaturated brown section up here. All right, and then we have our bright, 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 super bright white here. Again, we're using the colored pencil, so you get that sheen that sheen and shine Joan I'm all excited about my color style pencils when they get here I'm gonna try them and see how it looks I'm gonna be all excited all right before I hit a wax bloom on this stupid thing let me come in here with my light brown and just get a base. What you don't want to do is you want to, don't want to put white on a, another white. You want to get like a base for it to sit on and the base is going to be another color, a darker color obviously. Otherwise you can put white on it, you can't really tell. And then you're going to be back to the colored pencil. All right, then you have a like a darker section here, just a few. Not a lot. Whoa! I said not a lot, then I made that really prominent. Duh! Alright, and back to white. And we get our whites, and we just want... We got something for it to sit on. Now we just want to get... Whites here, her in there. Her. Look at that, the end of the white. It's like completely covered with other pastels. Give it a good whack. Don't need to sharpen your pencil, just need to whack it more. Smack it around on the paper. Get that whack look. You 
Finish him up. Okay. Got that, and I got that. I do want some of these bright, shiny, shiny things there. And really shiny here. Don't make me get the Sharpie. I'll get it. looks exactly like the picture except the hairs come out like that that looks really nice I'm gonna get some attitude on this side all right I like it a lot wow that looks really good on a small screen yeah yeah Lene Doden hey colored pencil over pastel yes I'm gonna make a dedicated video once I get all my art supplies that I ordered um, on colored pencil, the difference between the colored pencils, which ones to use, which techniques are good, which techniques are not good. Um, I'm going to do a whole series on that. So watch for that on here and also my YouTube channel. So, and I'm also on VidMe. And everybody's like, what's that? It's like a YouTube alternative. I figured I would upload some stuff there. I'm under pet portraits there. All four people that visit that site have seen me, I think. It's exciting to be on a site with eight people. All right, so. All right, cool. Um, that goes extends here. And you have like this section over here. Yeah, pastel and color pencil. They work good together. Whoa, that is really dark, man. No, no, I don't want that dark right there. Go away. Fade into obscurity, Mr. Hair. Okay, that's good. That ain't working out at all. That looks like crap up there. That looks terrible up there. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Your kitty's so pretty. I love kitties. I love cats. I can't believe you got the cats to pose. Like, that's the one thing my cat would never do is pose. Like, you can get a dog to pose all day. Like, you'd be finished taking pictures of the dog. Dog be sitting there like, you need any more? I'm ready. You need more pictures? That's it? Come on. More pictures? Like a cat. You're like, I'm going to take your picture. He's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. How about you rethink that idea? All right. We'll do the uh, ear offline. So you'll notice this ear is much bigger than it was before, and that's because I extended it, obviously. Um, okay, cool. So, we have a terrible looking nose. Pardon me while I sharpen this pencil. And because it's, first of my color, it's going to break. I ordered nine more Prismacolor whites. Because I'm assuming that the color soft will do me wrong. And I'm going to need more Prismacolor white, so... Better to be safe than sorry. You know I'm going to use it. All right, cool. Uh, at this point, I am happy with the upper section. Okay, the nose. So, the nose has a bunch of little dots. It's not hairs. This is dots. Obviously, they're short hairs. Yes, I know. Duh, don't write me in. Yell at me. Um, but they do have a lot of little dots. And, like, down here... Got a lot of these little dots. And I'm doing this in colored pencil because they are shiny. Look up at the reference right here, and you'll see that these these little short hairs are a little shiny. And you have to represent them as that. And to get that, we're gonna do colored pencils with wax. So 
Lene, is that how you pronounce your name? So Lene, you'll see in the reference that some of the hairs are shiny. And when you do colored pencils, you don't get that shiny effect. And you need that shiny effect in some of the hairs. Not all of them, of course. If you did it all, it would look weird. But where you see the shiny hairs, like right, uh, well, it's not doing it, but up here in the nose, like right here, is not a lot, but it's enough to where you need a little more reflective surface. And that's going to do you right with colored pencil. Again, you don't want that everywhere. And see, now you look at the nose now, you see you have these dots right here. And all of a sudden, it's not a dark brown area anymore. It's a dark brown with little spots. And so that really, really, really makes it nice and pleasant. And then you break out the grease pencil and you ruin the whole painting. Right. That is really dark right here. I want to get it dark. Joan, I need this dark. I need to order me some darks. Um, 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 what am I missing with this? I like that. You know what I want to do? I want to get, I want to get this portrait color right here, just right here. Just sneak it in. Look at that. It brings that pink. Like to get that pink effect. It brings that pink into there. Because you do have like this little bit of pink through here. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it is an eye after all, right? Okay, cool. I really, really like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think that I'm done other than the ear. And if you guys want to hang with me, or if you don't, that's fine. I'm just going to knock out this ear. We'll put the whiskers in while you guys are still here. We'll do the whiskers. Okay, so, uh, Lene, you'll notice in the picture, look at the whiskers. They're really, really shiny. And to get that effect, what I used to do was I would get liquid acrylic before I found out these colored pencils are good. I would get liquid acrylic and, um, and do that with that. And that's risky, obviously, because once you put that down, that's, then you're done at that point. Um, so what I tried instead was the colored pencil, and they look really nice. And the grease pencils are good for darks I've noticed, but for whites not so much. So here we go, here's the action part. This is like the, the main attraction. Gonna go whiskers, and this is where we mess up the painting. Got a whisker there. <gasps> I didn't mess it up yet, but hang on, hang on. What is that? I missed that, what is, like right there. Whiskers coming out of this and I missed it. Joan, Joan, did you make me miss this? Did you let me miss this? Where are you, Joan? Any brand of grease pencil? No, it's Derwent Drawing. Derwent Drawing Ivory Black. So far, this is the only color that I like. But you could, I guess, uh, use any brand. Okay, so now I'm gonna have one coming out through there. Whoa. And then we have another one that's sneaking in through there. Now we have this long one here. So we're gonna press down pretty hard for this one. It's coming over across through there. And then we have one coming from here, like that. That looks lopsided. I told you I was going to mess it up. Like that. We have one that curls up. We have one that goes straight. Looks pretty good. Alright, so we'll come over here. Down, down. We're pressing the light because these are not too heavy. And then we have one that comes here. Got one that comes there. And we got one that comes over there. And then it comes out across there. Now we're gonna press harder and go from here like that. Like 
All right, now we have some black ones coming out. We're going to use our grease pencil. And the black ones are coming out through here. It's really light. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> look at how good that looks. That's what I live for is to get excited about stupid stuff. All right. And we have one that's black that comes out through here. And then another black one there. Another black one here. All right, cool. So that's a nice mix of whiskers, don't you think? Except for any more white. Now let's compare. Let's get a pit pastel white. This is not too hard, and we'll make a mark like that. Look how disappointing that is. Look. What the? I can't even see it. Seriously? I can't even see that. This is why you use colored pencil, because I can't even see that. All right. One more whisker here. No, it's too many. I think we're whiskered out. Derwent Ink Tents Pencils. Yes, but I know Ink Tents has not the spectacular oh, um, light fastness, right? I remember Lisa Klo, Lisa Klo hit a like, I'm not sure if she's watching or not, but I remember Lisa Klo mentioning something in her Ink Tents video about light fastness and that concerned me so if you give this so if i give this to the person that that i'm giving it to and it fades really fast when they put it up on the wall and it hits you know any sort of light whatsoever then they're going to be moderately upset at me and they're not going to like me and that's not good because you kind of want people to like you in the art business if you're a president or political commentator that's different but when you're trying to show people art if you're not very likable you're not going to go too far not like i'm going to go far anyway but i'm just saying i'm just saying why give someone anything that has issues with light fastness have you tried to, oh, never mind, the same message. Let's read the same message again, yeah. Right. All right, I like that. Let's do it here, let's do it here. What do I want? I want, so the left ear on the picture is, is completely blown out um, because the light source was on that area and so it looks like what happened is it just kind of blew out the highlights. I do want to do a real portrait soon. I got a portrait and it's a portrait of a bunch of people and I'm not sure if they light room the heck out of that thing or what, but like a lot of stuff is blown out and it like all the skin looks just exactly the same. There's no shadows. We got a dark area here. All right, I like that. Everyone's like, what is this? That looks terrible, man. Bra, that looks bad. All right, okay. Cool, it's a little too saturated. Mm, desaturate, desaturate. make a straight line that'll look great in art all right. um, it looks all right now we have some hairs coming through look at the little hairs you get with a color pencil man it's so nice it's nice man I get excited about everything I'll be like drawing a stick figure and get excited be like look at that I nailed it look at the proportions are perfect then up top so again if you're going to install white 
White needs something to sit on, which is going to be obviously your dark color. So you notice I did colored pencil up there, and then here I'm doing pastel, but I'm not really overlapping it. I'm just sort of just sort of tickling it through here. See ya, Sherry. like that and we have that dark there and then underneath it we have a fairly bright white and that's coming up through here and we'll use Now we get serious. Get, oh God, that looks terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating. So the top of the ear comes across pretty, pretty prominent. like that I don't like this area here it needs more darkness and this needs more saturation it's just like this black section of shadow for no reason you need to mix it up like have some sections that are dark some sections that are not so dark um, okay cool oh what are we running on here Lene how long have we been going we have been going a long time. I'm going to do the rest of this offline. Basically, I'm just going to put hairs here, hairs here, and I'm going to sign it, and I'm going to call it a day. So thanks, everyone, for joining. I hope this has been fun. I really appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.